So during our partner call last week with all the partners, Molly, our CEO, asked a question that I really like, so I'm going to repeat it now. Okay. So fill in the blank. If it weren't for COVID, I wouldn't have blank. And again, this is not discounting the deaths and suffering that is going on, but think about it like, what are you grateful for because of COVID? The time we, we spent in the curfew, it was a very important time for me because it was the first time that I stopped working in Namai for the last six years. So I was home thinking of Namai. There is no sessions now. There is no kids coming now. So I start reflecting on Namai. And I'm very grateful for that pose because I realized that I never thought of Namahi as a business, as, as something need to be sustainable, need to be maintained. I always thought of Namahi as something I enjoy doing, something that I feel passionate about. It's something that I want to keep doing forever, but that's not enough to sustain an organization because these kinds of organizations shouldn't be depending on one person. It, it shouldn't be a one-man show. The lives and the, 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 the good services shouldn't be rely on one or two or three person. We should make or create an organization that can continue working, survive, sustain, no, no matter. Or it's, it's not important who's working in Namai. It's important that Namai is fully functioning, no matter who's working in Namai. So, and that was not something like, easy for me because I never, I, I, I never thought of Namai as a business and I honestly don't want to think of Namai as a business. Maybe because I, I think that these kids should be served free of charge. These kids do deserve to have the full services they need without considering they, their financial ability. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. This is the fact. Namai is a private practice, and eventually it's a business that needs to be maintained and sustained. So this is the must thing that I'm grateful for this old time. Mm -hmm. I decide now, or I start seeing Namai now as a business, a business that's not concerned about money only. It's a business that's concerned about the kids mm -hmm. also. So, yeah, that's what I'm grateful for the pandemic, if we can say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that mentality will help you make decisions in the future to have that growth mindset. And I mean growth mindset as far as growing the center. And like you were saying before, having more of a reach, impacting more families. Yeah. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you. So let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.